Let's create a website that is identical to the Google Workspace website. Let's choose the blank template and create a website from the scratch. We need to remove a minimal size of the header. Let's use the right side toolbar size section. Then let's choose a new layout for three groups of elements in the header. Next use the page structure to select the layout we have just inserted and quickly apply exact dimensions for the layout. Now we need to add a logo. For this let's choose the image plugin from the top toolbar and select the logo. Then we can change the alignment of the logo and minimize the vertical layout. Margins will help us make precise distance between elements. We are ready to add the menu element to the website now. Let's choose the style of the menu and insert it. Next, change the alignment and edit menu. Now we will replace the default item names with necessary names. Change the menu style using the right toolbar. First, change font style for default menu elements. And then, for active menu elements. Second, change the margin for the wall menu element and padding to make the correct distance between menu items. This will be your new menu. Other elements that should appear on the header are buttons. After button appears, first, change the alignment in the layout. Second, change the text and link for the button. And now apply the necessary font style for the button. Change the font color, border and background of the button. Let's change the color of the font and select the necessary color for the background for the hover. At the last, we will change the size of the elements and paddings inside the button. To add a second button, we will duplicate the existing one and easily make changes for the second button. You can customize your second button exact the same way as we did with the first button. Or if you want your second button stay the same uh, way as the first one, you don't need to do anything. Just copy the button and all the adjustments will stay the same. We will add the third button by duplicating the previous one and applying the new style. As I said, if you want the button to stay the same, you don't need to do anything. If you want to customize it, it's very easy to do with the right side toolbar. Now let's take a look at the website by clicking on the preview button. We can compare our work with the original website. What we need now is to add text and image elements to the page. First add the layout with two columns and second apply the exact maximum size to the layout. 
and it's time to add content. Add icons via the picture plugin. Change elements alignment and specify margins to move icons down. Add text element and replace it with exact text. Now we can update the font style for the text element. We select the text, click on settings on the top toolbar, choose styles, find custom style and change font parameters. Font, size, line height, letter spacing, color, And finally apply the bold style. To make precise proportion in the block, let's change the size of the first column. Then we can insert a second text block with information. change the properties for it. The last element in the first column is the button. We can duplicate the existing button and change spacing. Picture plugin will be needed to add one more picture to the second column. We specify the correct position in the layout by changing the layout type from vertical to horizontal and specifying the alignment. Let's preview and compare results. The last block that we add is a block with a video. Choose the first layout, resize the block, Add and modify text elements. The video plugin on the top toolbar will help us to add the video. We have default video that we replaced with our video file. Next, we change the maximum size for it, update margin and select autoplay. Finally, we can check the preview and see how it works. And also, let's compare with the original website. Great work!